The third general conference for Palestinian communities and institutions abroad and in Europe started in Damascus. Hundreds of prominent Palestinian figures, including writers and artists, attended the conference. Leaders of many Palestinian factions delivered speeches asserting their adherence to the Palestinian cause and underlining the necessity of unity. They also thanked countries that have been supporting Palestinian resistance against Israel. We need to establish a unified Palestinian leadership to make a third intifada. National unity is a major weapon against occupation. I start by saluting the steadfast leader, the supporter of resistance, President Bashar al-Assad. We are with Iran because it is assisting us strongly and honestly. It is supporting our struggle and arming the resistance, and because it defends the central cause of Palestine. Participants also condemned Israel for violating the rights of Palestinians by insisting on carrying out its controversial policies, including the settlement activities and excavations beneath Al-Aqsa Mosque. Representatives of the Syrian government also reiterated Syria's continuous support to the Palestinian cause, despite the pressure from the United States, Israel and their allies. Syria, despite everything they offered to it, never gave up on Palestine. Today we are even more confident that Palestine is the meaning of our existence and we can never abandon it. An exhibition was also held on the sideline of the conference showcasing Palestinian culture, tradition and books about the struggle of Palestinians. This year, Palestinians decided to hold the annual event here in Syria, the country known for its support to the Palestinian cause. They are here to express solidarity with the Syrian people amid their hardship and stress. Palestinians also highlight the message of resistance against Israel as the only path that leads to the freedom of their territories. Hamad Ali, Press TV, Damascus.